welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today again for another video. I am bringing to you today three super easy short hairstyles that are edgy, chic, really cute, and fun at the same time. And this right here is one of them. But unfortunately, it's the very last one, so we have to watch to the very end because it's one of my favorites. And it's perfect timing because we are back to school season and I know you always want to look really cute when you go back to school. So I got you covered, babe. I got some really great short hairstyle ideas and inspirations and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump in. For my first back to school hairstyle for short hair, I'm going to quickly show you how to curl your hair using a curling iron in less than five minutes. For my choice of weapon, I'm using today my old but trusty Conair. This is the 0.75 wand, and I have it set at the number 23 heat setting out of 25. I'm doing it a little bit hotter today because I'm going to be taking larger sections of hair. So if you do smaller sections, do a smaller heat setting, lower heat setting. So I already prepped my hair for the heat and I use the Pureology Color Fanatic. It has 21 essential benefits for your hair and one of them being it protects against heat. So I just spray this into my damp hair and then I just blow dry my hair straight. Make sure you have a hair clip present because I'm gonna section my hair off right now. Taking my two pointer fingers, start at the temples and then just make my way around to the back. Grab this section, it does not have to be perfect. And this one is just gonna be in two sections instead of my regular three or four because I am taking larger chunks of hair and this is gonna be kind of like that effortless, I woke up like this hairstyle. You know, it's kind of wavy, but not really. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so because I am going to be wrapping the hair around the curling wand, you wanna be very gentle not to burn your fingers. If you do have like a glove that are specifically designed for something hot to handle, use one of those. But today, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing a nice big section of hair from the front, probably like a good two, three inches. And then I'm gonna take the curling wand, I'm gonna place it downwards. And then I'm gonna start wrapping the hair around. And I'm making sure the hair, the hair closest to my face is going the opposite direction towards the back of my head. Hold it there for like five to seven seconds and let it go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It just gives a nice wave and some kind of texture to my hair. Taking this next section, I'm grabbing pretty thick sections of hair. Some of them are not gonna be curled at all, which is the point. You don't want every hair to be waved or curled. Take the next section of hair, and I'm gonna alternate the direction. This one is gonna be going towards my face. I quickly touch the hair with my fingers to see if it's hot, and if it's starting to be hot where I can't handle it, I let it go. Like five, seven seconds. Just like that. So when you alternate the direction of the curl, it gives it like that perfect tussled wave in your hair. And that's always what I'm aiming for. Now let this last section go. I'm gonna quickly brush it out so there's no knots in it. And I'm gonna actually start grabbing sections from the back of my head going to the front, just making sure I grab as much hair as possible. Now that I'm done curling my hair, I'm gonna let the curls set and cool. And I'm gonna come back and give them a little bit more texture. So I'm gonna take this stuff right here. This is the BB Brilliant. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this plenty of times. It's probably one of my favorite things. And it kind of is this really lightweight pomade. It smells super good and you only need a little bit. And it just gives like that beautiful slept in look. It actually said that on the bottle. And I don't know, it just does something beautiful to my hair without weighing it down. You can leave your hair like this part in the middle, but I like to take it a little bit more on the deeper side. I'm gonna take some of these front sections right here and I'm just gonna move it over. Just kind of like give it that slept in look. Kind of like a woke up like this look. And there you have it. Nomir Deva. That means number two in Russian. So for the second hairstyle, I'm gonna go back to the middle part. Doesn't have to be perfect. That will do. <laughs> So I'm gonna start on one side of my head. I'm gonna grab a nice section. That looks pretty good. Basically, I'm gonna split it into two. This is me kind of like that faux, like French or Dutch braid. That's like on two sides. So if you can't braid or you just don't feel like braiding, this one's for you. So we're gonna start twisting the hair. 
So once we have the first initial twist, we're going to start adding hair to the section that is not closest to the middle part. Does that make sense? So this section right here that's underneath. So we're going to start adding a little bit of hair. And we're going to twist it over the top. Once it's down again, we're going to add hair. Clean it up. Twist it over. Hold it down. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You want to do pretty tight twists as well. And just continue adding the hair. And once I get to the back of my head, like to the crown section, this is where I'm going to add the last section of hair. Twist it one more time. I'm going to grab some hair from the back. Add it to my twist without letting the twist go. And this is where I'm going to tie it off as close as possible to my scalp so the twist doesn't go all over the place. Do the same thing to the other side. Andre just said, I look like a girl version of Rambo. I have no idea how he made that connection, but I got my spear right here. Two sides. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the hairstyle. So now I'm just quickly going to voluminize these twists just by gently pulling them forward. Just kind of give them a little bit more texture and volume. So you can leave your hair like this with a little pigtails in the back or you can do a really messy top knot. And this is what it looks like with the top knot. Just mess around with your hair, see what works best, see what you like best. I just want to give you guys some options. Alright, so here's a third option with these two twists. I'm going to leave it like this and I took out the top knot and I just left the two little ponytails in the back. This kind of gives a little bit of an edge to this hairstyle right here. So we're going to take a smaller section, and a little bit below it, and we're going to divide it, same thing, into two sections. We're going to start twisting it once. We're going to grab a little bit of hair, and we're going to start twisting it backwards. But this time, this section below is going to be a little bit more tighter than the se section above. So once I get towards the end of the first twist, I'm going to start getting this twist sort of behind the ponytail underneath it. I'm going to start grabbing hair into the little twist right here. Take a clear elastic and just tie it off right underneath the first ponytail. As close as possible to your scalp. So it's going to be nice and tight. So do exactly the same thing to the other side. Once I'm done with the second two little twists, I'm gonna keep them as is, nice and tight, but I'm gonna go back up to the very first two and I'm gonna loosen them just a little bit more to give a little bit more volume to the top. And there you have it. This is really cute, it's super simple, and it just gives a little bit of something to your short hairstyle, you know what I mean? It just, it's really cute, it makes me feel special. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is my style or take on the back to school hairstyles for short hair. It's perfect for when you wake up a little bit too late to go to school or get ready, or you just wanna do something really cute and simple to your hair that is edgy, chic, and just effortless. I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys very soon. I love you all very much. Bye.